We all live in the digital world. We all need it to be open and safe. We all want to trust. And to be trusted. We all despise control. And desire freedom. We, we are all united. united. Hi, everybody. My name is Everton Rodriguez. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I hope that before anything, um, I hope that you and your families and friends are safe and well. Welcome to our IGF 2021 Open Forum. I have here a presentation. Today, we are going to be talking about the 11 years of .br domain names conflict resolution using SACI ADM. I'm Everton Telles Rodriguez and I work at NICBR as a ex uh, expert advisor for the Brazilian Internet Steering Committee, the CGI.br. And joining us today, we have Raquel Gato on site, who is back to NICBR as a legal department manager, and Diego Siboli, also from our legal, legal department. Um, we also have the great staff from the IGF Secretariat who have been working so hard to make this event happen, as well as other colleagues who are working behind the scenes there as moderators and rapporteurs. So thank you so much for all of them before we start. So this is the first um, activity uh, of four activities proposed by and organized by CGI.br. So stay tuned for our three workshops during the week. We have here the list of them. And today we're going to be talking about the results of SACI ADM, a NICBR solution to mitigate conflicts related to domain name registration. So here we have a few words of what we'll see today. The background of what led to SACI ADM um, solution. Um, what, uh, how it works and what it, what it is, the results and the incentive to digi judicialization. So a few words about uh, .br. It was delegated in 1989, before, even before the first internet connection to, took place in Brazil. Back then, uh, we had academics using other networks, such as BitNet, DECnet, and so on. So today we have 4.8 million domain names registered, which puts us in the sixth place among the CTLDs. And um, not only the registration is meaningful, but also the use of .br. So 92% of Brazilian companies use .br for their businesses. Um, and the revenue of .br registration is used for a series of NICBR and CGIBR activities. It's always good to point out, uh, but at this point, it's good to point out that NICBR is a private uh, nonprofit civil entity. So it's always good to mention that. So next slide. Now, uh, background about why NICBR created SACI ADM. Here we have an example, let's say that someone uh, back in and until 2010, let's say that someone registered your trademark. Um, in Brazil, we use first come first served as a policy, but the person uh, that who registered that domain name violated trademark law and prevented the use of this domain name from the trademark owner. So that brings to a potential, uh, that has a potential to lead to errors and mistakes so perhaps this user uh, was unaware of your trademark or maybe not, we don't know that. The point is that back in 2010, we could only tell that this user um, should file a lawsuit uh, against the first registrant, but that doesn't look actually like a solution. And the reason why is that in Brazil, uh, we have 2, 212 million inhabitants, we are 212 million Brazilians. And the, the Brazilian judiciary system is currently dealing with uh, 80 million lawsuits. That 
basically talk about everything. They deal with everything from divorce, frauds, and all the other sorts of litigations that we are used to see everywhere. So domain names issues and, and domain names related lawsuits have been taken up to eight years to be judged. That's not even close to the dynamics that the internet demands. So eight years for a decision related to domain names, it's, it's way too far from the demand. So one of the motivations um, comes from the domain names have always been registered uh, on a first come first serve it, as I, as I told. But, and our contract is very clear about the responsibility of this action, which completely lies on the registrant. So in 2010, CGIBR published a resolution uh, approving SACIADM, which finally brings us to the current situation in 2010. So, at this point, it, it is important to say that CGIBR's resolution are not binding, and as CGIBR is a committee composed of members from the governmental sector and a majority of civil society members. On the other hand, trademark law is binding, as it is a law, and according to Brazilian law, NICBR can't prevent access to courts. So SACI ADM was shaped to be an administrative solution, which can't be confused with arbitration that has specific laws in Brazil. Um, the adhesion of SACI ADM happens when a user registers a new domain name and uh, through our contract. If the registrant or a third party initiate a procedure, uh, it, will be, it will be made public on our website in Portuguese. And the procedure, as briefly explained here, is uh, composed by the third party, the registrant, and the three NICBR accredited solutions, WIPO, uh, CCBC, which is the Chamber of Commerce Brazil Canada, and ABPI. So the complainant submits an application for opening society and procedure to be analyzed by one of the accredited institutions. The complainant also chooses an accredited institution and one or three experts to judge this procedure, which will go through expert analysis. And during this analysis, domain names uh, transfers are not allowed. So, the complainant must prove that the .br domain name was registered or is being used in bad faith and that it is identical or similar enough to create confusion with a trademark owned by the complainant or with other titles, names, or even domain names owned by him or her. So it's not only a trademark uh, that has a precedence to this case. So if the domain name was already registered before by the, the interested party, then it can, can be claimed as a, say, it's a CADM procedure. So some advantages of SACI ADM um, are that the costs are borne by, borne by the complainant and the amount is fixed. So you start the process by already knowing how much you're going to spend uh, during the process. The decisions are one, one of the three options you can see there. The mains should be maintained, transferred, or canceled. Um, the process takes approximately a, a maximum of 90 days. And NICBR uh, itself executes uh, the expert's final decision. And if the litigating parties commences a lawsuit, in 15 days since the expert decisions was published, NICBR won't, uh, won't implement it as it will be decided by the court. So here we have uh, our timeline of results. Um, oops, sorry. Well, let's see how has been SACI ADM results so far. This is the timeline with more than 500 procedures at the moment in these 11 years. Uh, 83 of them started in 2021. 
And do you remember what I told about the current numbers of lawsuits in Brazil? So Nick Biar alone avoided some 500 new legal demands upon our judiciary system. Um, if we had more companies, and, and that brings us to a reflection, if we had more companies and businesses convening efforts to mitigate lawsuits by providing their users with administrative solutions like SACIADM, we certainly could make a significant contribution to reach justice, just justice in the country, as other interested parties with other litigations could also be using um, the legal system to breach their, their um, demands. So instead of uh, putting uh, other litigations related, for example, with domain names in the same basket for the judge to judge uh, several other, several of them at the same time. So. We have an average of 46 uh, new procedures by year. So that's uh, a good number that we have. And just of those 500, just nine of them followed to court. So that's less than 2%. And just one of those nine reverted the expert's decision. So, Again, when a judge who has been judging a process about, let's say, whatever, uh, sees that he will decide about the main names and that one of the interested parties already have an expert analysis, it has been much more likely that the judge will follow that expert's decision. So that's one of the very uh, of the advantages of using SACIADM from our side, from the client's side, from the, the registrants side, uh, this has been an advantage for the whole environment. And here we have uh, some comparisons about the time frame of a lawsuit versus a CCADM process. One of them, while, while one of them took more than six years to be finished, uh, the other took just 90 days. So it's a clear indication of, of the way that CCADM works. Uh, much closer to the dynamics of the internet and the demands of the internet. So here we have some odd, some critical cases, some use cases from SACIADM. Uh, this one is from a supermarket chain. Uh, this is a claim of a domain name with a typo squatting from a supermarket chain and this one from a uh, soccer team. The first, the first one was uh, requiring a domain name transfer. It was set in 2018. So there is a um, typo squatting on it and the request was upheld. The domain name was transferred to the claimant. While the sec in the second, second one, uh, there was um, it, it was proven that uh, the domain name was registered in bad faith. And the sec this second case is interesting because the, the contents of the website were analyzed by the experts who, who also thought that uh, there were links, logos, and other, um, other contents that could lead to confusion and to think that the user was in a one, in one website when he wasn't. So that puts us into the questions segment. So feel free to, I don't know if we have some. Let me just open here. Okay. As I have my screen here, I can see Raquel. Everton, uh, hi, thank you so much for the presentation. It was uh, so clear and uh, very instructive. Um, and uh, hi to Diego uh, Sigoli also, who is joining us. 
Um, I have here uh, also in the room uh, Percival Henrique uh, from uh, CGIBR, which stands for the Internet, uh, the, the Brazilian Internet Steering uh, Committee, and uh, Rosauro, who is also here. Um, and uh, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Also, sorry. <laughs> also, a CGI member. Uh, and I don't know if you have any questions. If you want to say a few words uh, to to complement uh, the the presentation, but it was uh, very very clear. Um, uh, it's a lot of work. For the few weeks that I've been in this new uh, role, I could see at least one third of this yearly rate. Um, and how it's well uh, streamlined and, 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 and it's working. Okay, thank you, Raquel. Well, okay. uh, oops. Hey, first of all. Uh, okay. Uh... Thank you, uh, Alberto. Only, only, only congratulations for for this panel. Uh, it's very, very important the the conciliation, the, the, the conciliation, the the, the uh, SACI. Uh, it is uh, it is example uh, for for world in, in from from Brazil. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Principal. Well, that's all from my side. Uh, I can see that we don't have questions here in the in the chat, so perhaps not uh, from the YouTube as well. Well, Hakel, yes. Uh yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> I, I, I was just going to say, Everton, if you want to say um, uh, in the concluding remarks, uh, for those that are going to watch perhaps later this video, how they can uh, reach out and get more information. Because it's not sure. only here today, but I mean, others will see later. Okay, so here. Let me share my screen again. the presentation it is yes, here so here we have the SACI ADM info and decisions they are all public of it publicly available and they are at registro.br slash domain slash CC uh, ADM and all the decisions that have been published, uh, that have been uh, taken are already, already published there. And you, you can get in contact with us at nick.br as well. So if you have any questions and further uh, comments, so please feel free to reach out to us and uh, make your comments and, and that's all. That's it from my side. If you have any comments or questions, they are welcome. It was a very brief presentation, but hope to see you soon, whether in person or virtually. Obrigada, Everton. Thank you very much. Obrigado, pessoal. Thank you very much, everyone.
hello. Uh, I don't know if someone from the IGS support um, is hearing me, but um, just a question. We, we don't know what is the correct procedure now. We, we just finished the session very early, um, and uh, but the, the, the session is, is still being recorded. So what do you, what we do? You, you, you just um, finish the, this room or something else? I mean, if the session has ended, you can leave the room and we will just end the Zoom meeting. Okay, perfect. Perfect then. Thank you very Thank much. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.